Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. Now, today I'm going to start this off with um, something that XRP Bart sent me, at XRP Bart. But before I show you what XRP Bart sent me, I want to say this to you. If there's one thing, now I've, we've been, I've been talking a lot about Wall Street coming into crypto and all of that. If there's one thing that we now know an exact date for that's going to happen, that there is no way on this planet that you could keep me from owning digital assets before uh, this date happens. It is what I'm about to show you. Um, and it, as far as Wall Street goes, I believe that this is going to be the most significant thing that has happened in crypto since it started as far as the markets go, because this is back to we're about to talk about. BACT has finally given a date that they're going to begin opening up for accounts and, and opening up for business. BACT is the representation of Wall Street. And there's another thing that I'm going to predict that is going to happen probably before, if not when it happens, and then after, of course. But you're going to begin to see um, in conjunction with this date that back now has given us, you're going to be begin to see, in my opinion, the greatest sa uh, salesmanship come from traditional finance towards um, cryptocurrencies, digital assets that you've ever seen. They're about to become the biggest cheerleaders for crypto that you've seen. All of the financial media, you'll begin seeing commercials, you name it. You're going to start seeing that around this backed launch. So here it is. And you do not, <laughs> if you if you ever wanted to own digital assets, at a minimum, uh, I would, uh, I personally would own them before, I would be in before this happens. Because whether whether the, a surge happens pre-backed or a surge happens when it launches or a surge happens afterwards or just the, the culmination of Wall Street finally accepting digital assets as a thing and a, as a new asset class, it is going to be massive. Okay. Massive, not small, not big, not kind of large. Massive is what this is. Uh, this came out from medium today and it's putting back Bitcoin futures to the test. Okay. And they're basically, they're just telling you they're, they're launching. Well, C3 Nick summed it up, so I don't have to go through it. And here's the tweet. Um, uh, on July 22nd, two days after Apollo 11's 50th anniversary, BAC will initiate user acceptance testing for its Bitcoin futures listed and traded at ICE Futures US and cleared at ICE Clear US. That is all you need to know, folks. This right here. And I, and I realize that this is just an initial um, user acceptance, da, 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 da. But it doesn't matter. The point is, is that these people have been geared up. They've thrown, they've thrown hundreds of millions of dollars at this. And you better believe you're going to begin to see the massive budget that they have to sell to the public and the retail, well, maybe not initially retail, but to their institutional and event. And really, it'll they'll be speaking to everyone because in conjunction with this happening, you're about to see TD Ameritrade open up to retail. The rumor is you're going to see E-Trade open up to retail. You've got AirSex, Fidelity Digital Assets is going to go full throttle. It is all coming. It's all come to this, folks. Um, okay. Next, um, this is from Dude Here, at Dude Here 4, sent me this. This doesn't surprise me. Bitcoin futures record volume reflects in incremental institutional demand. CME's half billion dollar Bitcoin market time is right for institutions and BTC crypto regulation shake up awaits. Um, and here's what we, here's what it says as blockchain investor Oliver Isaacs noted on June 13, the CME 
Group's Bitcoin futures set new records for both volume and open interest last month. A total of 515 mil million in notional value was traded, a surge of more than a third since April and 250% more year over year. You better believe it, folks. It's happening right now, right now, and you're a part of it. Oh, come on. Sometimes that thing hangs up on me. Okay, XRP Crypto Wolf wanted me to cover this with you. Um, yesterday, we showed a, I believe it was his tweet, where um, it was a commercial about how BitTrue's Power Piggy program, they were they were putting out, a, they had put out a video to show you how Power Piggy works. Now, remember, Power Piggy is um, in the where you put you lock up. Well, you don't lock it up. You can just push a button and and put your XRP and and these other digital assets. You can put them with them, and then they pay you interest, and and it's like up to nine point eight eight five percent APR. Well, uh, XRP Crypto Wolf was talking about this yesterday, and he he wanted me to let everybody know that there was a great demand from people once they went to check it out that um, there was a cap so that nobody, could, everybody was having a hard time getting into the program. So BitTrue, who listens to their customers, put this out. We hear what you're saying and have doubled the daily cap for XRP to 600,000. And so, but, okay, I show you all of this. Now, this is the power, this is an interest program and they've, they've admitted up front, this is a marketing program. It's not something where they're making money and they're able and are then able to pay you an interest. Um, I've told you before, um, I've tested this program. It works and everything, but I do not participate in it myself. I am keeping my XRP and all my digital assets on Ledger Nano S. I'm keeping them off of the exchanges altogether. And so if you're doing this, you need to make sure you're at, you educate yourself on what you're comfortable with and what if, uh, you're, you, cause you are keeping it on the, on the exchange folks and it is, an interest-bearing program. Myself personally, I'm not yet comfortable with these things to keep things online like that. I'm not going to do it. Um, so that's at a, at your own risk. I, I have to give you that disclaimer um, because I don't want anybody saying, "Oh, you told me to do this." I'm not telling anyone to do this. Um, okay, from Web Surfology at Web Surfology, China. Uh, man, I'm going to butcher this. Fuzhou City will be rewarding blockchain businesses with nearly with with yearly rent subsidies of up to 600,000 yuan, 86 86,800 USD. Companies that will build blockchain applications are also entitled to get a 20% subsidy on the cost of their development. Um, and then he goes on projects that receive awards for scientific and technological progress can also get monetary rewards for up to 600,000 yuan. The city will also reward blockchain developers with up to 2 million yuan, $290,000 for establishing blockchain research and de development centers. Companies that can contribute to high level meetings at provincial, national, and international levels can get up to 1 million yuan, 144,000 and a half, uh, 144,500 USD. Well, I want to make a point here. How many articles have we read about Russia, China, Indi India, where, oh, no, they're going to ban crypto. And every time I've told you, no, they're not banning anything. They're just behind the scenes getting themselves ready to benefit to 100% from all of this. Nobody's banning crypto, folks. Nobody is banning crypto. If, it was, if that was going to happen or could happen, it would have happened way back in 2009, 2010, 11, 13 through 13, somewhere back then. This genie is out of the bottle, and the genie's gained a lot of weight and isn't going back in the bottle. Okay, next, from also from Web Surfology. This is huge right here, folks. Hong Kong property firm Stan Group, with a real estate portfolio valued at more than $6.38 billion, is scheduled to meet with Hong Kong's securities regulator in January 2020, seeking regulatory approval to sell tokenized real estate assets. Folks, uh, just take a look at that landscape alone. What does it look like when all of that is tokenized and you can set, buy and sell pieces of that? You can, uh, uh, one of your favorite buildings, you might be able to buy in just to own, just to be able to tell your friends that you own some of it. How cool is that world going to be? All right, next from XRP Veteran. Uh, this is great. My long-term view is selling crypto now is like selling Apple in 2001. 
from Yanni Asia, CEO of eToro. I 1000% agree with you. Uh, I'm deleting some of these boxes here, folks. Um, let's delete one more. Ah, come on. That one keeps messing me up. All right. From X, at X Lighting the Way, over the next 10 years, this is unbelievable. Ponder this. Over the next 10 years, the, the CBO Congressional Budget Office estimates that interest costs will total $7 trillion under current law. In just under a decade, interest on the debt will be the largest program in the federal budget. In other words, folks, in other words, who do you think they're coming after when they, when this debt load that they, these politicians and central bankers have created, unless, unless this problem is fixed in some kind of way, who are they coming after? Now think about this. We've got interest rates at almost zero. What happens when, at some point, you're going to have to raise interest rates. I don't know how they've been able to do this for this long. What happens when they cannot service this debt? Um, there's about three options. First option, the first thing they're going to do, though, is they're going to come after you, the citizen. It's going to, it's going to be your patriotic, patriotic duty to help all these politicians who never should have gotten us in this mess in the first place to bail them out. They're coming for your money through bail-ins, bail-outs, you name it. The bailouts were just a trial run. Now they're going to get more bold. It's going to be bail-ins. They're going to close your bank account and they're going to shave it off the top. It's already been done. Just check out Cyprus. Google Cyprus bail-in and see what comes up. This is scary. Digital assets in one way or another are going to be the solution to it. I think they're going to be not only they're going to be the solution, but they're also going to be the protection for you and I. Uh, next, um, from XRP Big Time. Buy crypto as technicals hint pullback is over. This is from Funstrat. And I just wanted to read you this short thing. Um, this is one of their one of their technical strategists. He said he had been recommending that investors remain patient following the big surge in May, but that uh, now there's early evidence of renewed p potential for gains. Another upside attempt appears to be developing for most cryptocurrencies. Increase exposure. He wrote, uh, we expect Bitcoin to stage another rally from current levels toward resistance between 8,800 8, and 9,000. Take that for what it's worth. Uh, but that's, I, I, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that we're on the uptrend again. Uh, next from crypto utility guy at utility guy seven, Reuters, Bloomberg and trading view to add new cryptocurrency index. And this is the article he's, he's tweeting the financial terminals of Thomson Reuters and Bloomberg will soon provide cryptocurrency data from, from an index that takes into account social media posts and news. Uh, announced Thursday, um, Crypto Index said terminal users will be able to view the top 100 perform, performing cryptocurrencies according to its rankings. Um, it comprises uh, crypto assets that have occupied a position in the top 100 over three consecutive months are almost always traded on multiple exchanges and have significant social media following. Well, the index is a culmination of the three decades of experience in the financial services industry. Da, 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 da. Okay, the bottom, what's interesting here is this index is going to take into account social media. So guess which social media community is the largest in all digital assets? XRP community, folks. So they should highlight us and highlight us often. For many reasons. Okay, from XRP Vet Diamonds to the Sky sent me. Wait, he didn't send me this. I, I think I got something out of order, but give him a follow anyway. At Matt Marlowe 52200. Okay, I did my video this morning on that guest one. This guy, um, I was in communication with a little bit this morning, and he sent me some fascinating things. Um, and look at his background. Uh, uh, that's interesting stuff, but. This guy is, is pretty fascinating, some of the things he's putting out there now. So I wanted to show you just a couple more. Um, this is a tweet from back when. This is from February of 2019. 10 of, the, and this is from W. Kahneman, 10 of 16 clearinghouse RTP partners processors work with Ripple XRP. And he shows uh, the source, and, he, and one of the sources here we need to give credit to is, of course, XRP Darren, one of my favorites. Um, at fame 21 more definite follow. Um, but they show this at our current RTP partners and service providers include 
And these are the confirmed Ripple XRP uh, confirmed um, partners uh, that are working with Ripple. So the question is, what is Clearinghouse? So I went and looked up Clearinghouse. The Clearinghouse is a banking association and payments company that is owned by the largest commercial banks, banks and dates back to 1853. The, uh, the Clearinghouse Payments Company LLC owns and operates core uh, payments system infrastructure in the United States and is currently working to modernize that infrastructure by launching a new ubiquitous real-time payment system. The payments company is the only private sector ACH wire operator in the United States clearing and settling near nearly two trillion in US dollar payments each day, each day, folks. I hope you hear that on my terrible microphone. Two trillion US dollar payments each day, representing half of all commercial ACH and wire volume. And finally, he sent me this, and this is his ties to the central banks. Okay? And the central banks are these. If you look, um, this is Japan. Now, he ties all this together in this one graphic. He's probably got this on his, he's probably got this on, on his uh, Twitter feed if you go check him out. He's guest one, at freedom 944-29944. And it goes, this is, um, this is Japan, and I don't know all these countries, but there's the U.S. and Great Britain. But he ties in how Ripple is connected. Like on the Bank of Japan, you got Bank of Japan here. This is from the Central Bank of Japan. Bank of Japan, ja Japan Bank Consortium, and then they're tied in with R3 Corda Settler, which uses XRP. And then it shows you which ones are tied to X Current, and then ultimately the interledger. Uh, interledger. <laughs> We're in... We're living in some exciting times, folks. But what I want you to remember out of the first two videos that I've done today, if you remember nothing else, remember what Brad Garlinghouse keeps saying. He's saying it for a reason. We are dealing with a multi-trillion dollar, we're trying to solve a multi-trillion dollar problem. That's what Ripple says over and over and over. Brad Garlinghouse has said it on multiple interviews. Um, when he says that we're trying to solve a multi-trillion dollar problem, you do the math. In fact, in the last video, if you go to that, the, the Athey model, go look at that. Look at my last video. It, it'll blow your mind. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that Ripple is trying to solve a multi-trillion dollar problem, liquidity problem. And, and that's another thing don't forget. When you hear the word liquidity, that is what XRP is for. When Brad Garlinghouse says multi-trillion dollar, when it's multi-trillion dollar liquidity problem, liquidity is the buzzword that indicates XRP. Thank you for listening.